Welcome back to Premier Basics, the hottest channel on YouTube. And I'm here to prove that today by recreating the sun entirely inside Adobe Premiere Pro. No third party plugins, everyone can follow along and create their own star. I'm gonna start off by creating a black video so that I have a layer to work on. In the effects library, we're gonna look for the VR fractal noise effect. Almost your entire sun is made with this effect, so it's gonna be fun. We wanna create magma, so I'm gonna choose turbulent sharp as the fractal type, and then play around with the contrast and brightness a little bit to create these hot and cold spots on the surface. And lastly, let's create a keyframe for the evolution in the beginning, then go till the end of your clip and change it to 360 degrees, and this will add add some movement to the magma so that it's floating on the planet star. All right, no sun looks like this unless you're shooting black and white. So let's look for the tint effect and add that to the layer. Change the blacks to have it a subtle orange tint and the whites can be very orange. All right, looking good, looking hot. Let's add some more depth to the magma now, since it looks pretty flat. Hold down Alt and drag the solid layer a track higher to make a duplication of it. And we're gonna change a few parameters from this duplicate. First of all, let's change the start of the evolution to 90 degree and the last keyframe, one rotation plus 90 degree. And this way there's an offset and when changing the blend mode to screen, we'll see both layers floating through each other like magma. We're also gonna take a different color for the tint. Maybe this one can be a bit more red instead of orange. So just change that for both the blacks and the whites. Now let's do this whole step one more time. Make a duplication, add another 90 degree to the evolution so that it becomes 180, and finally change the tint, maybe this time make it more yellow. Now instead of the screen blending mode, we're gonna pick overlay for the last layer, and this will create some harder contrasts and bloom the highlights better. And this is already most of the work. I know, it's odd to do visual effects in Premiere Pro, but it's a great way to learn more about the different effects and techniques in Premiere. In fact, oftentimes you can work with overlay effects to enhance your videos. I always get mine from Storyblocks, which is today's sponsor. Storyblocks is a community-driven library packed with over a million royalty-free stock assets. You can find so many visual effects in there, which you can easily blend on your videos. Or perhaps check out one of their After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. There are high quality stock clips in HD and 4K resolution, covering any kind of topic or theme. Also check out their music and sound effects library, or search a variety of images, illustrations, and more. This library helps you to create your vision and save time without sacrificing on quality. There's an affordable subscription plan for everyone, but the best one is the unlimited all access plan, allowing you to download unlimited stock assets. You can try out multiple options until you find the right assets for your creative work. Now start downloading right away by clicking the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. And now back to Premiere. Since we're using the VR fractal noise, we're going to get an error message when adding non-GPU accelerated effects to it. Now to solve that issue, I'm simply going to export this out as a video and import it back into Premiere. And for convenience, let's add it to a new sequence. A sun is round, so let's look for the spherize effect and drag that to the video. Simply increase the radius. You can make your sun as big or as small as you want. Next, we're gonna need to remove everything outside of the sphere, and we could do that with a mask. But there's an easier solution which is gonna give us some better control, and that is the circle effect. Unfortunately, we're finding it back in the obsolete folder, so if you're watching this video in the future somewhere, it might be gone, but for now it's still there, so let's drag it to the video. We're gonna increase the radius of the circle so that it matches up with the sphere. On the bottom, we have a blending mode option, specifically for the circle, and we're gonna choose Stencil Alpha, which is gonna use the circle as a cutout. Now the edges are too hard, so simply increase the outer edge feather a little bit, and this already gives you a round sun with floating magma. Really cool. Now that's magma we're talking about. It should burst out, creating solar flares. So let's make that. I'm gonna create this new sequence first for the same issue we had before. Add a black solid in the timeline, add the VR fractal noise effect to it, but this time choose strings for the fractal type. In the transform setting, I'm gonna scale these down and 
like before animates the evolution from 0 to 360. Now the reason I'm actually choosing 360 degrees every time is so that it makes one full loop. So we're basically creating an endless loop animation which is really cool for an animated gif or something. Alright, render it out and import that video back into Premiere which will add to the sun. Again, we're gonna add the tint effect to this clip, adding some orange red magma colors to it. Also add the circle effect and increase the radius, make it a little bit bigger than the sun. And I'm also gonna create an inner cutout by changing the edge to edge radius. Increase the edge radius so that the whites only cover the outer edge. And finally change the blending mode again to stencil alpha, which we've done before. Now we're almost there, these solar flares need to blend in. So from the opacity blending mode change that to screen and there we go. Now the edge of these flares are still hard and we could easily fix that with some feathering but it doesn't really look so good. So we're gonna do it a little bit different. Look for the roughened edges effect and add that to the solar flares clip. Choose spiky for the edge. Now you mostly want to increase the border itself and decrease the scale. Not only the edge looks much better than if we were to feather it, but we can also animate the evolution property so we can add some movement into the edge again. And if you want that seamless loop, you are gonna have to enable cycler evolution from the options down here. And but the bim but the boom, we got ourselves a sun, entirely made inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And on Storyblocks, we can find some more flares or light leaks that we can blend over the entire shot or adding a thriving space in the background to make it look even more epic. Now if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button. It helps this video in the YouTube algorithm and support the channel. I'll see you back next week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out here the video on my left where there's more of that juicy stuff. That's a playlist over there with more effects that you can make inside Premiere. Or click the subscribe button if you want to see me next week. So many options here.